So here we are. I'm sufficiently intimidated. I'm about to put this all together. So the engine is completely apart down to the block. Uh, there's my pretty header. It's been painted. Got some lights going on. Got my helper. This is Sterling. She's our baby. She's awesome. And you know what? If you have a baby helper, I suggest putting them in something like this so that if they get upset, you can distract them by overstimulation pretty easily. So, wow, is that fascinating or what? Yeah. <laughs> you look intimidated too. I get it. This is my brand new head right here. You can see it's uh, pretty nice looking. It's been machined for higher compression. This is a special camshaft. Uh, so this is gonna be, uh, it's all ground to be different and basically what it's meant to do is lower the power band in the RPM range, which is good because I rarely drive this car over like 4,000 RPM. Uh, so it's gonna put most of the power down low, which will really help it get up some hills and stuff, but specifically it's ground uh, so it's just got like less effort to turn and it's gonna get better fuel economy. So somehow I'm gonna end up with more power in the range that I drive and uh, better fuel economy. So I'm really excited about it. You can see it's super shiny uh, and clean, which I like. And then here's the old head, which, uh, you know, other than being dirty, it's, it's fine. Um, could have gotten that machined, but I'm excited to kind of upgrade the car a little bit. So what I need to do is take parts off of this one and put them on this one. So I'm gonna need to kind of figure all that out. Um, I'm full of spark plugs and stuff, although I have new ones over here. And then, you know, pull these studs. I got new studs uh, here, so I'm gonna be putting all those in. New head bolts, of course. So we're gonna start rebuilding the head on the bench, and then once this one looks like this one, we'll go ahead and start putting it together. Now, uh, here's the old one. I've been pulling parts off of it, so I've got this is whatever that is, and then this is the the inlet for the, so the, the distributor's gonna go on there. This goes down lower, but this is the, um, the inlet for the radiator. So. Cool, it's gonna go here. I also have the new thermostat that's there. This is my son, he's trying to interrupt. What's up, Liam? I don't know where to go. Okay, uh, would you like me to open that door? Okay. Can you wave and say hi to YouTube? Hi. I'm gonna help. That sounds good. So we now have a helper. If you're doing this without a helper, good luck to you. <laughs> okay, here's the old one. Now, if you were not replacing the head, uh, you would just take this to a machine shop, they regrind the bottom, uh, and that's, the, you know, they do replace valves or whatever you need them to do. In this case, I've got stainless steel swirl polished valves and, you know, new things in this that make it fancy. So, uh, basically, you're at the point that I'm at, if you're at this point in your life, uh, which is intimidating, but let's see what happens. I have new seals, so what I did was, excuse me, um, I bought this pack on eBay. Uh, it has all the seals, including this uh, brown circle guy here. I found out that it goes behind that that advanced timing gear. See that gap? It goes back there, so we're gonna have to put that in. Uh, it's got new, just basically new everything. So all of these kind of are just set in place. I was really just mocking them up to see where they go. We're gonna put a seal there, there's a seal here, there's a seal there, there's a seal there. So we're gonna put all that together and then put it on the car. So. I found these little suckers. You see that? There's a little. If you look at it from the side, you might be able to tell. But these little guys stick out. These little guides. Um, so I'm told that what I need to do is pull them out instead of pliers. So we're gonna try that. Those are not gonna be the right pliers for that. Um, hang on. So I got it moving. Man, it's starting to come out. Come on up. Oh, come on up. There we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. All right. You'll have to get mommy to help you. Good. Whatever mom says. Good gosh, okay. All right, that was a bit of a beast, but got them out. So, got these two little rings uh, sitting right there. 
and right there, and what they're gonna do is hold the gasket in place while you're maneuvering everything on there. And they're basically just sleeves, so you can tell which one where they went because the hole is a little bit bigger here than it is for these other bolt holes. Uh, so that's kind of how that works. Okay, so let's talk head gaskets for a second. This came with a head gasket, this pack from eBay. Uh, however, I was convinced to buy this kind, which is sort of like specifically guaranteed not to blow out of like defect of, of gasket material. So I guess that one often does. Um, and this one is made to be special and JDM and all that nonsense. So uh, I don't know if any of that's true, but decided it was worth uh, a little extra dough because I don't want to do this project again. Uh, so let's open it up and we'll see if we can fit it on there. Um, and you can see, I looked at it earlier, it's labeled top left and right. So it should be straightforward on how it goes. It goes blue side up. See how it says top, left, right. So what I'm gonna do is just set that on there. Boom, look at that, dude. Okay, and I questioned, because this, like you'll see this hole is very small. I guess that's supposed to be that way. Um, so these are meant to restrict flow uh, to some degree. So uh, that's what I'm told, and we're gonna go with that. So uh, that's the way it works. And look at that, head gasket is replaced. <laughs> Uh, so all this worked, but the engine still doesn't run because now I have to put the car back together. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's put some stuff together. So, set those aside. Um, what we're going to do is build this side of the engine. So, we're going to go to our gasket kit and find a gasket that looks like this one. Um, let's take those apart real quick. I've been in the habit of just uh, kind of just barely threading the bolts back where I got them from because I really just don't want to get confused and lose my place on this engine. Um, you wouldn't need to do that if you were like an expert at doing this, but I'm not. I'm faking it, so that's totally not the right size. See, I'm faking it because this isn't even the right size deal. Aha! Okay. Okay, so what we're looking for trying to keep clean as we go. This uh, little circle with three kind of offset dealies, and I see it right here. So open our gasket kit. Oh. A bag within a bag, bag exception. Okay. Bag exception. That is going to line up perfectly like that. Okay, so let's, let's stick it right on, like so. And it is keyed, so it's only going to fit the one way. Okay. Let's start with our hand. Now all this stuff is going into aluminum, so you you know we're gonna tighten it, but we're not gonna strip anything out. We're gonna be a little careful about that. All right, cool. Uh, that sounds good. All right, now let's go down to this guy. So we've got, let's see. Okay, there's my thermostat, so we gotta figure out how to get that out. That's probably, oh I see, it's all crusted in there. So, we don't know if the thermostat's bad or not, but we definitely had overheating and problems, so just better safe than sorry. It's not an expensive part. I got it on Amazon. Yeah, let's look at the real one and see how it's supposed to. Oh wow, yeah, it's super tiny. Okay. So it's gonna go in, this is a little bit, I think it's a different temperature one, it's okay. Let's knock it from the back. There we go. I didn't want to pry against this aluminum surface. Okay, so that's the thing. Dude, that looks not healthy at all. I bet you this might have been what caused my problem. 
Do you see that bent? Can you see that? A bent bit right there? That's not good. Look at the normal one. There's a pin that goes to the middle here, uh, and it doesn't make a 90 degree bend in the middle, so that's a problem. And okay, so you'll see that it's got a rubber seal and stuff. Uh, I don't, I did order a new one, so we're gonna use this new one. There we go. There's the part. Okay, so take that. Stick it on. Yeah, so if you look, it's it's grooved in the back there, so we're just gonna slide it around the thermostat. That could have been the problem. But still wouldn't explain why we're getting compression in the cooling system though, but it might have had something to do with all the issues we were having. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this guy out. That looks pretty crusty and gross. Um, this is a bristle brush that's not not coarse metal because I don't want to scratch up the, the mating surface of that gasket. It's pretty reasonable. And then I've been doing my best to clean all the parts and make them shiny because my new engine block is shiny and my new valve cover is shiny and so I figure why not go all the way. Full on show geo status. <laughs> okay, come on now. Again, our little bag of goodies here. Okay, one of these two, I think it's gonna be this big one. Let's do this, let's stand it up on its end. So we've got gasket, thermostat, the holes line up, this looks like it's in the middle. Okay, dude, so I almost made a huge mistake. I'm so glad I didn't make. I was totally installing this this way and not understanding why it wasn't seating. I got the part flipped over. That was so sketchy. Okay, so obviously this gasket goes in here. I also re-looked at my Haynes manual. Dude, oh my gosh, use the manual, you guys. What was I doing? Okay, what we're going to do is this thermostat does not have a bleed hole. If it did, we'd make sure that goes up. Um, but what we're going to do is just jam that all in there. Oh, this fits so much better with a spring toward the engine. Okay, so there's the spring business in there that's going toward the engine. We're gonna seal this in. Just making sure that it's, you know what, I don't think I cleaned that side. Let's, let's clean it. Quite a bit of old gaskety nonsense in there. Compressed air. <laughs> We're not, okay. All right. Into the engine. Oh yeah, that seat's much better, okay. Boom, flush mount, I like it. Okay, that means that this guy, you know what, let's clean the surface too. We don't want leaks. Okay, big gasket. Boom, this part. And it goes with this going, okay, so this little up, this little arrow here, can you see that? It's gonna go up on the engine. Line it all up, and let's find those bolts. Okay, new gasket. Next up, um, these little guys, leather gasket, this guy, goes on top, so you put the thermostat in first, and then the steel gasket, and then all of it the surface. I like finding broken parts that I'm replacing, that makes me happy. Okay, gasket, this steel. It's not going to matter too much which way it goes, but you know what, I see another little arrow, we'll put that on the top. Oh yeah, see, there we go, and then they line up together. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Yep, probably has to do with the flow and the height of that hose. Um, okay, looking good. So, we'll take the bolts, which I think this guy, yeah, this guy goes in the back. Good. All right. 
basically together. So we have our beautiful put together, ready to roll deal. So let's put it on the car. What we're gonna do? Okay, I'm nervous. All right. Well, we don't have anything else, so we'll just do it. Um,